Hey everyone, welcome to today's version of the vlog. This is day 11 of uh, my 40 day video challenge during the last 40 days of a business accelerator program. And yesterday I mentioned that the thing I needed to do yesterday, the most important thing was to get all of my work into my Trello two week scrum inspired sprint, which is what I did and it's very helpful. Uh, and I wanted to chat today about how big of a nerd I am in terms of Trello boards. And if you don't know what Trello is, it's a project management tool that I became aware of several years ago and have used in, in many different sort of instances. And I use it in terms of, so I set up a two week um, sprint and um, I'll have to link, I'll, link, I'll definitely link to some example boards. Um, but it's a visual project management board then in terms of like you create columns of things you have to do and then you can create a card which is like a task or to do and you can move it across the columns like across the timeline so I guess for you it's this way um, so in my in my first list I always just list a stationary thing which is these are the, the core milestones that I'm trying to hit and those are like three to five milestones that I'm always mapping any of my activities to one of these and I usually color code them because I'm a nerd like that so those are all different color coded milestones and those just stay there and then the second column is my to-do list and that's where I create each of the individual tasks that maps to an activity that has to to get done in order to accomplish one of these milestones so one milestone could have five tasks that I need to complete over this next two week period in order to move further closer towards the completion of that milestone. And the milestones aren't necessarily like this milestone needs to be accomplished at the end of this two week period, but these are the milestones that are, you know, two to two weeks to six weeks out that are the next milestone that maps to my larger goals, which are like way out here um, and that I have documented elsewhere. So yes, and then I color code them all and then I can take the, the card of that, that actual to do and move it from the to do list to the in progress list to um, when I've actually finished it and goes into the done category and I can just keep moving those things across the board and it's a really great thing for me as a visual person to be able to keep track of all of the things that I need to do instead of a checklist and then also identify at what stage of the progress they're on. So usually when I wake up in the morning and I get to my desk, I look at what is in progress that I can quickly move into the done category so I don't leave anything pending there for too long. And then I can just visually look at all the to-dos today and look at how much available time I have. What kind of energy am I working with today? Am I, am I working with energy for like a long involved project or do I just need to like get a bunch of quick things done? And also what are the priorities? So what's the most important thing on that to-do list in order to move on to the next to-do? So some things are very time bound. And so I do a quick assessment there and I don't have to hold those things in my head. And that's where I stumbled a lot in the past was trying to hold all the stuff in my head or work with a long analog checklist where you have to then reread the list and, and your mind, your brain has to work harder to figure out where each of those things on that list is and which stage of completion. So with the Trello board, I can just, I immediately visually see where all of my work is, what stage of completion, what's been finished and what's lagging behind. So I love Trello. <clears throat> I've also been using it as an editorial calendar, a content calendar, and that helps you identify, you can create ideas, like ideas for blog posts or for social posts. And then is it in like a research phase? Is it in progress being made? Is it ready to, go out and have you done the work to promote it. So there's like, that's a version. You can use Trello for a bunch of different things. It's super helpful. I can use it for a house project. I've used it when I've, or when I, we organized like moving into this loft it was all the different steps that we had to go through. And so just, are we getting it done? Are we moving the, the cards across the board? So a little insight into a tool that I use for project management, a little bit of my nerdy side, and uh, so I accomplished the most, the most essential thing for me to do yesterday, which was to reframe that in that two week sprint. And the value about the two week sprint, so the way that I use the scrum methodology is, you know, what are, just only focusing on the most critical things and doing it, creating a time bound period of time, two weeks. So you think about how much work you can accomplish in two weeks, how much time you have, and what are realistic tasks and goals to create for that two week period. 
and then you try not to do anything that's not included on that list because if it's not on the list then in theory it wasn't important enough to put on the list when you were looking at your goals and your milestones if it's not mapping to one of those goals and milestones which are the most essential things that you need to get done for your business then you just you table it and you maybe do it in your free time um, and every two weeks then I reset and I say, okay, this is all the stuff that didn't get done that's still on my to-do list from the last two weeks. If it's not important enough that it becomes a priority for the next two weeks, then it just doesn't get done. And I just have to accept the fact that there's gonna be work that's not gonna get done. And when you as an entrepreneur or anyone that has an unending list of things to do, I mean, I'm speaking to, to moms too, because there's always a lit, like an unending list of things to do. And you might check off a bunch of stuff and at the end of the day you're like, oh, I only have three more things for tomorrow, but then tomorrow six things will jump ahead of those three things. And if you are always working this list and, and carrying forward a lot of these things that you feel like you should be doing and you're never getting them done and you're never checking it all off your list, then you just live under the weight of this, this feeling of ineffectiveness even though you've done all this other stuff over here. So maybe that's helpful if you've been looking to organize your thoughts, uh, your projects, your to-do lists, check out Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O. And the most important thing for me to do today has been to do some financial modeling and to really dig into some of my numbers and to do resets and projections. We've had a lot of things change in terms of um, we've been developing our strategy and figuring out which channels for our business are the best growth channels and working on like re resetting some customer acquisition cost numbers. And so I need to go back and revisit my financial models and update them with a lot of the things that I've been learning and gathering data on over the last few months. So that's the most important thing to do today and I've already been doing it. I decided not to film the vlog in the morning. I decided to just get to work straight away and then take a break when I needed a, a visual break. So that's what I did. I will see you tomorrow. And oh, like this video and follow the round chaos because we've got some other stuff coming and it's just kind of fun, you know? Just why not? Why not throw a follow up there? Uh, we, I, yeah, I'm not gonna try to convince you. Just do it. See you tomorrow.